Oh, and then, then of course... Oh. Oh, and she keeps it going, Wendy. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Red Velvet's Cool World, Don't You Wait No More, and Day One. So yeah, guys, we're getting into the last couple of B-sides from uh, the Red album, uh, the first full album from uh, from Red Velvet. Super excited for these. I'm, um, uh, as I kind of said uh, last time, I'm, I'm expecting uh, some kind of ballads uh, from this one. Uh, maybe Day One and Cool World are ballads, as they are the last um, uh, songs in the album. And, and typically, at least for other groups, um, the last couple of songs are ballads. So uh, I'm excited to see. Uh, what these last three songs are about. Um, but I guess no more talking. Let's just get right into Don't You Wait No More. All right. So for the first two um, B-sides of this album, or not, not the first two B-sides of this album, for the first two B-sides of this uh, reaction, we I'm, I'm using the same channel as I used last time called Red X Heart. Uh, so that's for Don't You Wait No More and Day One. Um, but I was recommended to use this channel called Random K, uh, and but they only had for uh, a lyric video for Cool World. So I'm going to try uh, out that channel as well um, for Cool World. But, but for now, let's get into Don't You Wait No More. Okay. Start, started off a cappella and then claps. What what's this what's this kind of instrument? Ooh, the instrumental is, is very interesting for this one. Ooh. And Okay. Oh, that's oh, that's really nice. This rap. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm really into this one. This is really good. And then the beat again. It was I really like this uh, breakdown we just had with with I guess kind of the raps. I guess it's the chorus. Um, it it just didn't feel like a chorus. It felt like more like a a, a breakdown, and I really enjoyed that. Really good. This beat is super good. Ooh. That's such a nice use of Wendy's voice. Oh, and this rap. And I would say, okay, I, I like how it, I love how the, the second part is like a, a collab. The first one was with Irene and Sogan, and the second one here was Wendy and, and Yeti. It's very, very nice. Excited to see if there's a bridge in this uh, in this song, and see how how that is if there is one. Okay, this is it. Oh, and they're harmonizing the background, very nice. Okay, I was actually not expecting this this return of instru instrumental. Returns. Okay. Oh, I really, really, really love this rap part. I really enjoy it this time. Okay. Don't you wait no more. Don't you wait no more. Damn, the 
This is so good. This this is a really really good song. It really gets you moving. Really has an has a cool style. Man, I I really don't I don't know who 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 made this song. I I feel like the, this song was so so well composed, and the choice of instrumentals in this song was really nice. And then all of the vocals, like in like the vocals and the raps in the song, just were so different but so well fitting together. It a uh, very very good song. This this might be my favorite uh of the songs from this album uh, at least at least for now. Um, but let's move on to day one. All right, we now have Red Velvet's day one. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So it's kind of right. It sounds like it's going to be a ballad. Okay. It sounds like it sounds like it's um. Sounds like this song would be like in an anime or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, like a a high. Imagine there's a high school uh, kind of anime with where there's a school festival and and someone's doing a concert. That that's that's the vibe I'm getting right here. Or maybe even an ending. Oh. Oh. Oh, that, that's interesting because it was kind of an offbeat, so, but, but it sounded really good. It really is. I, I this this should really be a Japanese song. I feel like this really feels like some kind of opening to a show. Yeah, yeah, this is it. I feel like um, there's there's actually I, I haven't watched it but there's a show uh, like an anime about um, I believe some kind of uh, idol group I feel like this song would fit very well with that uh, with that show although I haven't watched that show so like the whole the whole vibe is so anime esque every I love it. That like that was perfect. It even like at one one and a half minute mark. That that's the typical length of of one of like an opening, and it even had, has that ending that it could have ended right there. That's perfect, perfect song. Seems is it also mostly a vocal song? It's very nice. But the, the instrumentals are, are great in this song. I really, really enjoy this. Love, love, love. I feel like this was all, would also have a very um, fun uh, choreo. Joy gets the solo bridge? Almost? Solvi, okay. In the build up. Listen to how bright the sound song. This sound song? The sound of the song sounds. <laughs> okay, and they changed they changed it up at the end here. Step. Of course, oh, oh, and she keeps it going, Wendy. 
I was about to say, and yeah, of course, we, we need to end with this perfect note, and that just keeps it going. Why not? What a nice ending! I was about, I was kind of expecting to have like a, a Disney uh, end where they they were starting to get like a Disney pull out end, but but then just ending it like that that was nice, um, absolutely amazing song. Day one, okay. I know I just said "Don't You Wait No More" might be my favorite song from this album, but I'm I'm completely convinced now that day one is my favorite song from this album. This was just. It just has to the com completely right kind of vibe for me. Like it just it just makes you happy. It's so bright. I, I didn't I didn't get to to read the lyrics that much. So I don't know what it uh, what it was about. I heard uh, when I named I said something about campfire in one of the other videos, where I didn't really pay attention that much to the lyrics, and then someone commented it was all about cannibalism. So I'm hoping this isn't about uh, camp cannibalism, um, but. Absolutely amazing song. The, everything about the song, I really, really enjoyed it. My, my favorite from uh, from this album. But uh, yeah, let's move on to Cool World. And this is also the one where we get uh, the new kind of lyric video. All right, Red Velvet's Cool World. This is by, this lyric video is by uh, Random K. Let's go. It's very different, it seems like, from how they normally do it. Yeah. Because, okay, line distribution as well. So maybe there's some kind of... I guess over here, maybe it, it counts. Okay, that's, that's a cool way to do it, I think. Okay, so it's kind of like a messaging mess messaging room. Okay, interesting. Very different, very unique from all other um, lyric videos. Headphones to block the sounds of the wild. Okay, I like that. Oh, this is so good as well. I feel like at these 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 last these I can't even speak anymore. But these last couple of songs are just so 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 good. I really like these songs. Okay, okay, so that's because all of them are singing, okay. Like, I'm thinking... Like Dorothy from In Oz, okay. Is that actually what it says? Doro 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 Shi. That actually was what it says, like Dorothy from Us. Or oh, uh, this is, must be Us. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I've. I feel like I've heard. I kind of. It kind of reminds me of something. This song, but I'm not sure what. would be a very good musical song, I think. And when I, when I say when I say musical, I don't mean one of those that are played in theaters, but like one of those uh, on the TV, like like High School Musical, but maybe not High School Musical, but one of those. You know what I mean. Joy gets to bridge again? Start of it at least. Ooh. 
Ooh, and the beats. Oh, hey, wait. It's not someone. Someone does some... Maybe... Oh, okay, it's probably herself. You guys told me a lot of the time it's it's themselves doing, like, ba background um, harmonizing. So it was probably Solgi herself. Okay. I love how... I love how they're doing it, like, individually now. Oh, okay. This is already a much, much better, uh, like, lyric uh, video because it shows the ad libs as well. So we can hear that. That was Wendy's ad libs. Okay. The vocal talent of this group is amazing. Um, but this, come on, guys. It does sound amazing, but. Okay, so I guess it doesn't count like, uh, like when they all sing together. Nice ending, like this. This last, yeah. It has kind of video video game effect sounds right there. Did it have that throughout all of it? I, I feel like it. I, I didn't notice it. Solgi. Okay, so now it shows the. Uh, the uh land distributions okay so sylvia wendy joy irene and yeti that that's kind of you know it's kind of sad that yeti gets only this much i hope i hope that um obviously i, I haven't really been able to uh to like notice that much in in the land distribution because that this is the first video where it actually shows it but i really hope uh yeti gets at least uh um more lines than this because this is like not even half of, of all the others, right? So seven percent. Damn. It's kinda sad, to be honest. But yeah guys, that was Don't You Wait No More, Day One and Cool World. I feel like this by far is uh is maybe my my favorite uh B side reactions of, of all B side reactions. I, I really enjoyed like every single song in in this this part so so much i feel like you know i feel i feel like as as cheesy as as it is i feel like these last uh three songs uh, are my top three of this album like that that's that's kind of how how i feel i was i was wrong when i said that uh day one and cool world were going to be uh ballads because they weren't really ballads I, I could i guess we could still categorize cool world as kind of a ballad but not not really the kind of slow slow ballad that, that i was thinking about nevertheless i i love these three songs and these are all three going on my like i have like a a playlist with only the top songs of mine um and these all these three are, are definitely going on that playlist but uh, yeah, guys, I want to do a quick shout out to um, what what are you call? Uh, let me see if I can find it right here. Um, Good Morning Crystal, um, they were the one that uh that that recommended me using uh the lyric videos from uh from Random K. So from now on, when Random K has the lyric video for the for the B side, I will be using Random K, and uh w when they don't, uh, I guess I'll be using like some some other uh lyric video but i really enjoyed how i could see the uh the um land distributions as well at the end but anyways guys please let me know what you guys thought about these three uh b sides down in the comments below and also let me know uh, like what are you what are your guys you guys is uh like top i guess top three songs of this album it's it's a big album so so we'll it's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten songs so we'll do a top three uh down in the comments uh from this album a very 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 good album and yeah guys i guess i'll see you guys 
next time. Shh.